What's up guys, Mainman Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. And I thought I could make a video on why I think Tekken 4 is the best Tekken game. And I recorded a video on stream that ended up being 30 minutes about this. And I thought I could ditch that video, try and make something shorter actually for YouTube. And uh, yeah, I just think it's the best Tekken game. A lot of people don't agree and I can see where the gameplay has issues, absolutely issues. But overall, it's just the best game in this series, if you ask me. And that's for a lot of reasons. Uh, it came out in 2001, and it was the first Tekken game where they actually tried to make characters out of them. So the story was taken super seriously with uh, a writer actually writing the stories. I think they only did this for Tekken 4, to be, on to be honest, you know, at, at a great level. Tekken 4 is a great story. It stands out over all the other games as having the best story. The endings are often several minutes long. There's a shit ton of dialogue. It was the first game where we heard that characters actually speak and interact with each other. And this was taken to huge levels with uh, the characters having a million win poses, intros, did I say several minutes long endings. Um, the Tekken characters have never been more characters and lifelike than they were in the very first game where they were allowed to talk, which was Tekken 4. Um, so when it comes to the story, beautiful artwork, and you'll notice with every character, we have all of their intros here. These are their story intros. All of them have pretty well-written stories and pretty thoughtful and interesting reasons to join the King of the Iron Fist tournament. Especially, I'm gonna see if I can find him. Especially Paul is very interesting, who was reduced to a bumbling moron with Tekken 5 and the later games. But prior to that, he was a badass, he was, um, what was he, a bouncer, bodyguard, and he fell into depression after Tekken 3. He actually beat Ogre, he didn't beat True Ogre though. He, he left before True Ogre had uh, appeared, before he had transformed. And after that, so Jin became the winner, he fell into depression, well, Jin disappeared, blah blah blah, Heihachi wins. But uh, he becomes an alcoholic, I think Law becomes an alcoholic, and uh, it it's interesting, it actually makes you think a little bit. It's not, I'm gonna become the strongest in the universe, and that's it, and he's a comic relief character. Here, he actually feels a, just a little bit like a person. Don't get me wrong, it's not Shakespeare, but it's it's okay for a fighting game. It's pretty okay. Um, and then when I said, oh, they have a lot of win poses and intro poses and we feel like characters. Well, the animation is stellar. The facial animation. Take a look at this. At this beautiful face here. This is me reaching Tekken God Prime. This is Tekken 7 Kazuya. <laughs> this is Tekken 7, which was, was released on consoles in 2017. Take a look, at, I've always felt this. Look at the lazy animation here uh, on Hanashiri Naranna. His, uh, the corners of his mouth don't move. All that happens is that his jaw goes up and down like this. And his eyebrows don't move, his eyes don't move. Let's watch it again. There's literally nothing happening except for his jaw going up and down. Now, unfortunately, th this is bad quality, but I just want you to, to show you guys how obviously this game was released in 2001 <laughs> so that's this is 16 years <laughs> before Tekken 7 and it shows you know the graphics although I love the color palette the the model here for Kazuya it's got less polygons the texture texture is lower resolution the shading yada yada on a technical level 
uh, the visuals here, they can't match a game released in 2017. But look at the animation work. Let okay, sorry about the low quality, but let's look at the same win pose here. You win. Okay. Immediately, eyebrows, eyes, the mouth has more natural movement, and look at the smug smile. And then the smuggest Kazuya smile. And this goes for every character and every pose in this game, Tekken 4. There's just so much work with the face. Uh, with the, the face. You win. You win. You win. You don't see this sort of animation in. Uh, okay, that sort of animation. <laughs> okay, please give me a cool character. Jesus, what is this? I want no pain, no gain. Paul Phoenix win. Gotcha. Paul Phoenix win. Nothing like a good workout. Paul Phoenix win. Out. Paul Phoenix win. Okay, so. I'm just trying to get out there that in Tekken 7, characters have about two win poses, two intros. In Tekken 4, they have about six or seven. There's a shitload of them, and the facial animation is amazing. It really is. So I hope you guys saw that. So that, coupled with the story, combined with beautiful costumes, a wonderful color palette. I think the art director on this was a genius. Again. Check out the facial animation on Hiachi. And then... First he looks crazy. <laughs> Completely fucking crazy. And now look at the smug smile. <laughs> How much character doesn't this give them? And the music is very mature, it's very atmospheric. And the stages, the stages in Tekken 7, or Tekken 5, and later games, where are we? It, it's like this impossible, dumb fucking box with huge walls in the middle of nowhere. In this game, there are actually people outside. There are obstacles, there are fences, there are stores. Look, you can hit people into these uh, phone booths, and they break. And there are people. Did I say there are people that run away if you get too close to them? Win. 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 <laughs> oh my god, that face. Win. Uh, wait, I'm trying to get to the Fight Club stage. This is super small. Uh, and super interesting. Uh, it's, it's a fight club stage. And it's super small. Did I say it's super small? Uh, the stages are genius in Tekken 4. They are so different from each other in sizes. Uh, there are stairs. You can go up. You can go down. On this stage, which is the jungle stage, it actually has trees. You can walk around. It has elevation. It slowly goes up. It feels like you have you can interact with an environment. It's not only walls. It's like you are at a real geographical location. I just love that. I love that fact that they have that. And we can knock people into statues. Wait. <laughs> okay, again, we can knock people into pillars, we can go up these stairs, we can go inside this corridor, 
We can go inside this corridor. It's a very little corridor. It's, honestly, this is um, even though they failed to perfectly balance this, it's a million times more interesting than anything they've done since this. Tekken 2 was a leap from Tekken 1, but not a huge one. Tekken 2 to Tekken 3 was enormous. Enormous what they did. Suddenly, oh, suddenly you're moving in 3D, you're sidestepping. Uh, they introduced um, a lot of new gameplay features, uh, like the, the different types of throw rakes we have today, and uh, expanded the characters' move lists, etc. Some form of crushing as well was implemented. Uh, and then Tekken 3 to Tekken 4, another enormous leap. Suddenly we have walls, we have elevation, blah, 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 you know. Uh, there was so much happening in, in the Tekken world. And then Tekken 5 was released, and due to the pro players being so upset with Tekken 4 and the gameplay, they actually re they reverted a lot of the very creative and original ideas they had with Tekken 4. They scaled them back, and we had Tekken 5. And since Tekken 5, what you have been playing is not Tekken 6, Tag 2, Tekken 7. You've been playing Tekken 5.1, Tekken 5.2, Tekken 5.3. Every game, Tekken game, after Tekken 5 is completely based upon Tekken 5. Of course, you've had new, uh, new gameplay features like Rage, like Bound, but it's still the very same core system. And this was, the, uh, to me, the last great Tekken game when it came to creativity. Like, as I showed you, the visuals, animation, the story, the music, the, the stages, you know, with its interaction, uh, this is unmatched creativity uh, when it comes to Tekken. But I do give you guys that they didn't perfectly balance it. They absolutely didn't. And the gameplay is a bit lackluster. But if I could get Tekken 4, this game, with some tuned, uh, the tu tuned gameplay, where the gameplay has more, slightly more of the elements of Tekken 5, this to me would be the gem, you know, the, the perfect Tekken game. Uh, so I just wanted to get that out there why I really like Tekken 4. Uh, I find it to be the best Tekken game, but of course you have to realize that Tekken 7 has mu much better gameplay. I'm playing Tekken 7, not Tekken 4. But uh, yeah, the, the, the core gameplay is more balanced and more fun in Tekken 7. I just wish Tekken 7 had all of these creative elements because this, this is gold. It's gold. Uh, so thanks for listening to me. I hope you have a nice day.